in this lesson, we're going to learn about compacting and repairing your database. Earlier in class, when we were working with our notes fields, I mentioned that sometimes there's a lot of empty excess space in your database that's essentially wasted. When you put a character in a note field, for example, it blows up to its full size. So there's a lot of empty, excess, wasted space there. Compacting your database is kind of like sticking your foot down in the trash can. It compacts the database. It compresses it and gets rid of all that empty, excess space. If you're familiar with hard drive fragmentation, it's a situation where as you read and write files to your hard drive and delete those files, little holes pop up all over your hard drive. And of course, this forces the hard drive to look in many different places to get your files, and so it slows things down. Defragmenting your hard drive takes all those file pieces and puts them all nice and together. Compacting does something very similar. Each of your tables can become fragmented as you read and write data, add records, delete records, and so on, little holes pop up. So one of the things that compacting does is it puts your tables all nice and neat and together, and it gets rid of all the empty excess space. Now, I like to compact my database at least once a week. My database, like I mentioned earlier, has about 30,000 records in it. And over the course of a week, it blows up anywhere from 200 megs to 300 megs in size. After I compact it, it comes down to like 70 megs. So it's nice and small. And of course, a small database is a faster database. It's going to run quicker. Now, repairing is also part of the same process. When you do a compact and repair, it does both things at once. Not only does Access compact the database to make it smaller, but it goes through and fixes any problems. Now, this would be necessary if you ever go to run your database and it tells you for some reason that, oh, I can't uh, open the database. There's something wrong. Well, a compact and repair might fix it. Uh, doing a compact and repair is real easy, but I like to show my students in this class how to do a compact and repair to A, keep your databases running smoothly, and B, fix any errors that might be in your database. So here I am back in my database. Doing a compact and repair is real easy. Just click on Tools, Database Utilities, and then Compact and Repair Database. In older versions of Access, these were two separate functions. There was compacting and there was repairing. But in Access XP and I believe 2000, it's the same feature. Go ahead and click on it. And there we go. Done already. Depending on the size of your database, this could take anywhere from a few seconds to 30 minutes or so if you get a really, really big database. But since our database is really tiny, compacting only took about three seconds. Now you can also compact and repair your database without opening it. And this is necessary if you can't get in it for some reason. So I'm going to close my database. Notice now my database is closed. And you can go Tools, Database Utilities, Compact and Repair Database without having a database open. It will open us up to the Database to Compact form. I'll pick my PCResale.net customer database. And then I'll click on Compact. We'll get the option to Compact Database Into. This means you can take a database and compact it into a new database, give it a new file name. This is handy, for example, if your database is maybe partially corrupted and you want to make sure that you don't destroy it altogether. You can give it a different file name. But I'm just going to select the same file name to compact into. And then I'll hit Save. It says the database already exists. Do you want to replace the file? I'll just say yes. And then when it's done compacting, I should be able to go in here and open up my database. And there we go. That's it. We've compacted and repaired our database successfully.